Okay. I work with this a lot, man. I'm gonna try to do my best to try to break this down and hopefully you guys will understand it. So let's talk about our radians here. So what I wanna do is I wanna graph this. All right, I wanna graph negative seven pi over four. Always remember, ladies and gentlemen, here is our initial side, right? So that's gonna be our starting point. Let's make another dot, all right? Now, remember, in radians, all right, when we go halfway around the circle, we know that's 180 degrees, but we've also said in radians, that is equal to pi, all right? Remember, we took radians and we measured the radians around, and we say, oh, the approximation, how many radians around is it halfway around? It's 3.14159, dot, 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 goes on forever. So halfway around is pi. So now what I'm saying is I want you to measure negative seven, negative seven pi over four. So the first thing we need to know is this is your positive direction. Here is my negative direction. So I'm still going to count it out um, in, uh, in positive values, but we just gotta remember the direction is negative, all right? So I got a fly like buzz around me. Um, when I have, I'm gonna kill that thing. Ah, okay, so I have negative seven pi divided by four. Uh, what I want to do is look at pi. I can rewrite pi as 4 over 4, right? What that means is, remember this is a fraction, 4 parts out of your whole, correct? Because 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times pi is pi. But I'm rewriting it as our denominator so you can understand that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to break this up. Okay, so you can see I've broken this up now into four different sections. So I have here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. All right, you can do the same thing for the top section. All right, so here, if I want to measure now seven fourths, I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, it's negative because we're going in the negative direction. So my terminal side, which I can now kind of erase all this, is going to be this angle. So you can see I'm going to have the angle from there. And I can just kind of like erase all this stuff here. So there you go. There's my angle. It's going to be a nice big angle um, over 100, over 100 uh, 270 degrees all the way in the negative direction. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you uh, draw an angle in standard form. Hope you enjoyed. Comments, questions, please leave them below. Thanks.